Okay. So I've talked to you guys before. How this is a new one. I, I had difficulty figuring out the box, and so I was kind of fuck it and just tore the tab off because I hate those damn that type of packaging. You start trying to open it, and then you realize that it's going to fight you on actually doing it because it's put together this way. Ugh. But I got I, I did find my micro SD card, which was what hold, was holding me up, and it's in the back now. Now, I, I got this at some point, and I don't remember where, but it's a smaller 200-gigabyte um, card, but for what I need it for, that's more than enough space. But I also have a Nintendo Switch that now has a 1 terabyte in the back of it, you know, because it is a hackable one. And um, So this is... I've got a new bunch of other things that are coming in on this Raspberry end. Um, so you, from the looks of it, okay, um, this, like, oh, God damn it, I have to get this up. Like, so this port right here looks to me like a USB-C to USB-A, and these are mini HDMI ports, which I was only able to figure out because of the fact that it's labeled HDMI and I'm like what the hell you know so there's a mini and so what I did was I got an an HDMI mini to HDMI adapter to put to plug into that port so that I can plug that into my actual monitor because I don't have a mini one on my monitor I got that and I um I know I probably shouldn't be holding the board out right like this without an electrostatic wristwatch, though, but I live in a very humid place, so it's safer. It's less likely, you know. Um, but, you know, so I, the USB-C, you know, um, and I know that that's the wrong answer to, you know, these people, so I should put it away, but, you know, the truth of the matter is just that it's not very likely that it will actually have caused it but yeah yeah so i've got i've got to plug something into the damn thing and you know i had to get a i had not only had to get a usb a to usb a cable i had to get a usb a to usb c cable i had to get an hdmi to hd hdmi mini adapter you know and then there was one more um one more that i ordered on amazon just recently but they're all they're all coming in there's these four little small parts to put this together but that is going to be my ad guard and the reason why i had gotten interested in ad guard you know i started watching the ad guard because it was like oh this will speed the internet up when i don't have to all these brain eroding ads and i can sit you know dns sinkhole them but the truth of the matter was that what you know the first I really started watching it, and then I realized that you can enter custom DNS entries into AdGuard, and that made me go out and pay a scalper for one of these. And the reason why I paid a scalper was because it... So, I'm reading between the lines here on an article, and it's left me concerned, but it's not concerned because of the fact that this is happening in my country it isn't happening in my country but i'm going to read the article to you the court of milan has confirmed that cloudflora must block three torrent sites through its public 1.1.1.1 dns resolver the blockade was requested by several major record labels and arise after Italy's telecom regulator ordered local ISPs to block the sites, Cloudflare is not pleased with the order and has previously noted that such broad measures set a dangerous precedent. Website blocking has become an increasingly common anti-piracy tool across the globe. In dozens of countries, ISPs have been ordered by courts to block pirate sites, usually on copyright grounds. More, more recently, neutral DNS providers have been targeted as well. In this, in this earlier, in this year, an Italian court ordered Cloudflare to block three torrent sites on its public 1.1.1.1 DNS resolver. This order applies to kickass torrents.to, lime torrents.pro, and illicor sarpronono.pro. i probably mispronouncing that. Three domains that are already blocked by the ISPs in Italy following an order from the regulator Agcom. 
Now, Cloudflare tried to repeal, appeal it. Disappointed by the ruling, Cloudflare filed an appeal in the Court of Milan. The Internet's infrastructure company doesn't object to the blocking request that targeted its customers' websites, but believes that interfering with its DNS resolvers is problematic, as those measures do not, are not easy to restrict are not easy to restrict geographically. Because such a block would apply to global, because um, believes that interfering with its DNS resolvers is problematic as those measures are not easy to restrict geographically. Because such a block would apply globally to all users of the resolver, regardless of whether they are located, it would affect end users outside of the go- outside of the government's jur- blocking government's jurisdiction. Cloudflare recently stated, and do we have them on the record about what though they so they were vowing to fight it? We therefore evaluate any government's request on the court orders to block content through a globally available public recursive resolver as request or orders to block content globally. You know, as the Court of Appeals, Cloudflare argued that the DNS blocking is an ineffective measure that can be easily bypassed with a VPN, for example, in addition to its it contested that it is subject to the jurisdiction of any of an Italian court. The court dismisses the appeal. Cloudflare's dependence appeared to fail to gain traction in court, and its appeal was dismissed. DNS blocking may not be may not be the perfect solution, but that doesn't mean that Cloudflare can't be compelled to intervene. The dismissal that this is dismissal is a win for Sony Music, Warner Music, Universal, and the companies behind the complaint. It's a clear victory by Enzo Mazza, CEO of the Town Music Group F M I F I M A. This is an important decision for Italy and beyond, he says. Cloudflare, as well as other intermediaries providing similar services, should step up their efforts in preventing users from access to illegal websites, which which were ordered to be blocked, Mazza says. The global music industry group IFPI agrees. According to Chief Executive Francis Moore, the order sets an important precedent. By upholding the order, uh, an original order against Cloudflare, the Court of Milan has set an important precedent that uh, that online intermediaries can be required to take effective actions if their services are used for music piracy. More notes, and this has set a precedent. This is the first time that Cloudflare has been ordered to make pirate sites unavailable through its public resolver 1.1.1.1. It's a, this is an important expansion since many Italians switched their public public DNS resolvers to bypass IPSP measures. With this court order, the right soldiers can remove the short the shortcut. This type of order is new in Italy. It's a similar blocking injunction that was requested by Germany in Germany last year. A local court DNS provider quad nine to block a pirate site, but the decision is still under appeal. Cloudflare believes that these types of orders set a dangerous precedent. The company previously said that it had actually blocked content through the 1.1.1.1 public DNS resolver and said it implemented a, quote, alternative remedy to comply with the Italian court order. Turnfreak reached out to the Cloudflare for a comment on the dismissal, but we received no immediate response. Now, here we go. There are a couple of things of note. I could edit my Windows host file to make those entries, but... I thought that this was actually the better, the better solution, you know, than just editing the Windows host. Because of the fact that I had been, I had heard about the pie hole, and then I learned about AdGuard, and I started watching videos on AdGuard, and one of the things that I did learn is that you could set up custom DNS entries for your own private network in, you know, AdGuard. So that you could point them at various websites and you could make you know, resolve anything that you type into that bar. You know, I could type fuck.u and it would fucking resolve it. And, you know, just in theory, and it would work. And, you know, the if I put it towards the pirate bay, it would load the pirate bay. You know, so I got that and I got a bunch of, there's a... There's an HDMI port on it. There's a uh, HDMI mini port on it. There's a USB C, and there's a USB A to A. And I ordered all three of those, you know, and a power cable for the actual Pi from Amazon. And I'm waiting on those to come. But I will immediately go and implement that on my network the moment that I have all three of them. <sighs> So it's going to be great, and I'm going to go and I'm going to look at all the pirate URLs that I can find, and I'm going to program them into my reverse DNS so that you cockroaches can't
can't do anything about it anymore. It doesn't matter if your courts, you know, order these blocking things, I'll be able to get at what I want to get at, no matter what happens, because I'm sick to death of this crap. You know, I, the shape of my concerns is that essentially these blocking orders are catching on, you know, um, suffice to say that because they won in Italy, it's likely that this, these kinds of actions will set a precedent globally and not just, you know, here, you know, and not just in Italy, it will start spreading like a cancer and eventually it will become part of my own country, the United States. So the truth of the matter is that what I'm trying to do is prepare for that, you know, eventuality by building my own custom DNS and taking matters into my own hands by becoming a DNS admin. You're looking at them. I'm going to have a DNS server for my own private network that blocks ads, you know, and on removes all the it puts them into a dns sinkhole and on top of all that and i can like use wireguard to find more of them when they happen you know then they come up and figure out exactly what my browser is communicating with which is great i've learned another trick which is how to use wireguard to actually find you know the new ones when they are not part of the list and then i can bake those ads into it so that we can keep fighting this battle of you know, uh, the wits, so to speak, against the people that keep trying to bypass our restrictions and our list as they grow and grow and grow and grow and grow as far as blocking them. But lo and behold, I am implementing a solution that will ensure that I am able to access these sites regardless of what any court orders anybody to do. I can be completely non-compliant with that court order. You courts around the world and, you know, to all the courtrooms in the world, suck my dick, fuckers. Fuck you. There's nothing that the law can do here.